you said that there was no way that he would have ever stopped on his own. Do you think we would have seen Roger playing in his 50s if he had no problem at all? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, uh, the thing is that he, he loves tennis so much and he loves playing. Um, he loves uh, tennis life. He loves everything about it, right? He loves press conferences. He loves uh, his sponsors. He, lo he, he, he purely and, and honestly loves everything what, the, what, he, what, what he was and what he was doing. That there was no, you know, people sometimes would come to me and said, you know, if he would have won that Wimbledon 19, would have, would have he retired there on the spot, you know? And, and, and I was thinking like, no, like why, why would he? So it's not like he was looking for the reason to stop. He was he wanted to play, mm -hmm. right? So um, if he was fit and healthy, I mean, honestly, how 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 are you fit and healthy at forty five? Let's say you know you just can't. But you know, I he never mentioned you know stopping playing until he actually said I'm done, right? He wanted to play mm -hmm. and and. And, and this is maybe a concept that people have struggled to to understand, even some pro players, most of the pro players, because everybody's kind of playing for something. If I do this, then I'll stop. Or if I achieve this, I'll stop. If this happens, I stop. Everybody's thinking about stopping before they even stop, right? Mm -hmm. Roger didn't do that. He wanted to play. So how long he would have played? I mean, obviously, probably until he was competitive because he would not enjoy you know, being uh, 25 in the world and, you know, that, that's not something that yeah. would have would have been fun for him. But he was not looking for the reason to stop. 